I'm recording this on St. Patrick's Day, so let's go over to the Emerald Isle. Keep watching. Yes, welcome back to Got A Ukulele. It's a review day as ever. The summary video review to the full written review. You will always find linked below each of these videos. That'll take you back to the website where all my other stuff is. Loads more information on the webpage. Um, also, my weekly thanks to these people. These people have donated using the links below this video and on the website to help me keep going because I don't get paid by brands. I don't do adverts. I don't do paid reviews like a lot of people do. So I can only do this with the help of people who donate. My eternal thanks. If you want to help out, links below in the video. And every week I say you can also help out by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Hit the bell symbol. You'll get notified of new stuff. Yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day, so it seemed appropriate for me to feature the first instrument I've ever reviewed in nearly 15 years. I've got a ukulele from Ireland. The brand is called uh, Emerald Guitars, and they're in Donegal, set up by a guy called Alastair Hay. Um, and I've seen them in pictures, never played one before, but they're something quite special. And this one is certainly something quite special. This is the Emerald Guitars Synergy Uke Harp Ukulele. Let's just take a moment to have a look. I mean, it, oh my word, this is really something else. Um, I'm a lucky boy getting stuff like this to play with. I really am. Yeah, uh, the, the founder of Emerald uh, started out in Ireland in his uh, father's business which were making fiberglass products so he knew about a bit about composite materials uh, in a work exchange thing he ended up in America uh, make it helping make uh, carbon fiber Formula One speedboats uh, for racing uh, so learned about carbon fiber came back in the early 2000s and started making instruments guitars to start with all out of carbon fiber and that's what this is. This is all carbon fiber, pretty much everywhere. You're saying, hang on a minute, that's a wooden top. This is a wooden veneer option on the top, and we'll come on to what that is in a moment. But equally, you can get these that are just straight up carbon fiber. And a word about carbon fiber, because we've had quite a rash of instruments coming out, um, the plastic ukes, saying they're carbon fiber. They're not carbon fiber. They're plastic with a bit of carbon in the mix. True carbon fiber ukuleles are quite rare. Close make them. Blackbird used to make one. And Synergy make this one. Uh, so that is to say this is real carbon fiber matting. These are sheets of woven carbon fiber strands. Put in a mold, clamshell shape, piece on the top, finish it off. Very nice. Really, really good material. Very light, incredibly strong. It's a tenor scale, this one, but we've got this harp extension and I'll come on to that in a moment. Also, cross your fingers for me because I've got to play this. And I've never played a harp ukulele. I've been noodling with this one, but I don't know what I'm doing. So have a look at some of the videos on the Emerald website if you want to see what it really sounds like in the hands of somebody competent. As I say, tenor scale, uh, veneer there is koa. Now with Emerald, the deal is really that they don't carry a lot of stock instruments. If you want one, you go on and you use their builder on the website where you can specify things like pickups, tuners, and in particular the colors, what wood you want on the top. They've got some other exotic wood types. This is koa and it looks great. And I love this orange contrast. Uh, well, contrast matching with this all sunburst finished. So this is the carbon fiber monocoque body and integral neck, necks, obviously. Um, and then on top of that, it is carbon fiber under there. And then with a, veer, a veneer of the color on the top. And it's just simply, I can't stop looking at it. This is a really serious instrument. Right, okay, I'm going on. More carbon fiber for the bridge, which obviously is very different because it's got to deal with the harp. So we have two saddles made of Graftec black new bone, Graftec composite material. So all composites again, composite for the carbon fiber bridge, tie bar style in this nice attractive sort of fan shape, which I rather like. Um, as I say, we'll come on to the harp bit in a moment, but this is the harp extension. So it's not a neck, it's basically a piece that holds some tuners up at the top. Um, sunburst finish, no other decoration. Why would you want other decoration? Uh, and finished in a polygloss, which 
is flawless. I mean, the build here, I can't find anything wrong with it. I've given it a perfect score on fit and finish because everywhere on this is just, just lovely. Uh, the sound hole, there, there it is, that is it. It's a side sound port, as I always say. On instruments, most of the tone is coming from the top. This directs a bit up towards you, but it's really resonating from here. But I just love how organic that looks in the black of the sunburst. Uh, you'll spy inside there, there is a pickup control system. This is fitted with an LR Bags Element pickup system. About as good as you get those. Uh, but that's an option. You don't have to have that. You can have the straight up acoustic. Wow. Uh, the regular neck, um, as I say, integral to the body. So there's no joints, more carbon fibre. Um, it's quite rounded and chunky on the back, but it's really nicely roomy at 37mm, 30mm from G to A, so no problems there. Um, but not really a regular uke, is it? Fitted with more carbon fibre for the fingerboard, um, which obviously looks great because it's just a straight carbon fibre material. There is a slight radius to the top of the fingerboard. Great news. Comes with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to the harp extension frets, 13, 14, 15, 16 to the base of the uh, cutaway, 17, 18, 19 in total. They are impeccably well dressed. It's edge bound, no sharp edges. They're polished, so I wonder whether they're stainless steel as opposed to nickel silver. They are very high end looking frets. I love these position markers, which are kind of like Mr. Ron Dots. I can't show you on that camera. Um, they look really nice. They look like a powder inlay. I don't know what they're made of. And they're at the 3rd, 5th, 7th, 10th, double 12th, 15th, 17th, and 19th. You also get white dots down the side, which are hard for me to show you, but they are there. It's a very nice neck. And then a Graftec nut. The setup on this is absolutely impeccable because as well as just being good makers, they put this through a Plex system, which is a, where they scan individual frets. They scan the whole instrument and the, the setup is set everywhere. All the frets are dressed individually. Very, very clever. I like that headstock shape, uh, kind of like a PRS shape. That logo, uh, I think it's a Greyhound, Emerald. It would be a Greyhound, wouldn't it? That's a very Irish thing. Uh, in silver underneath the gloss and we have this other one I keep talking about the harp so the neck on the ukulele is standard re-entrant GCEA and then we have four harp strings I'm going to tune this properly before I play it which are tuned F G A C uh, F G A C and then GCEA and these are designed to be played together with they're not frettable, so they're like drones that you add in to add a bit of bass to your play to be played with uh, the ukulele neck. And they're all tuned up with the wonderful Goto UPT tuners, so eight of them now. And um, I, I, what can I say? They're as good as tuners get. A pickup that's as good as it gets, you know, tuners as good as it gets. Um, and here we are. Uh, it comes with the pickup, as I say, that's an option, strap button, strap button, and I'm glad they fit this because I wouldn't know where to fit one on this, but there's a strap button here, and I think you probably want to play this with the strap because it's a bit unusual to hold. And you also get this great branded, padded, emerald branded uh, gig bag. It's a really good quality bag. It's enormous as well because it needs to be. Um, and the price very much depends on your spec uh in this spec with that pickup and the koa top you are looking at 3685 euros but you can spec the standard acoustic uh just carbon fiber one with no pickup and i think it comes down to about 3000 maybe a bit less 2800 euros so the prices are a bit dynamic uh it's a lot of money but this is a lot of instrument, real carbon fiber made in Ireland. Um, this is really serious instrument territory, isn't it? This isn't your, your, your sort of Amazon strummer. Um, actually, I looked at the price and I thought it was gonna be more actually, but yes, it is a very serious instrument. And it's quite hard for me to review it for this reason because it's not a regular uke. 
you wouldn't play this as a regular uke. You're not going to buy this to go and strum down your local club. This is an instrument for professionals, really serious musicians, who want to add a bit of breadth to their tonal palette. So uh, they like playing melodic, say, fingerstyle ukulele, and want something else to add in. Um, it's not uh, It's not for playing three-chord Johnny Cash songs on, is it? Right, OK. The build is absolutely stunning. It, it's flawless. I've, I've given it a perfect uh, score on that, as I say. I think the look... Uh, you know... OK, if you don't like the idea of harp ukuleles, you're probably not watching this video any longer, but... I think this is just drop dead gorgeous. Absolutely drop good. I can't find anything wrong with the, the build and I love the looks. Absolutely top draw. It's a hefty thing because there's a lot of it. 1.24 kilograms. Um, it doesn't feel heavy though and it's really nicely balanced as well. Um, but it is kind of odd to hold and play. And this is my shortcoming, not the instrument. And that's because uh, I find it quite hard to play it just the ukulele neck on its own. But that's really missing the point because that's only half the instrument. It's designed to be played as one. And bear that in mind when I start talking about tone as well. Uh, because I think it's quite a bright tone. Let's just get it in tune. I think it should be. Oh, the strings, incidentally, they use their own fluorocarbon. So that will be the fishing line stuff. And uh, on the... Uh, these harp strings, they are four nylon strings with coil wound, metal wound. Um, I love these tuners. So you're going to get a feel for what I'm talking about with this harp in a moment. So there is our ukulele, and then we've got harp strings, F, low F. So a real drone, uh, a G. An A. Now I presume you can experiment with different notes on the harp. So, why those notes? Well, I think they're probably, if you think about your, your circle of fifths and a bit of music theory, I think those notes probably work complementary to most other major notes in, in um, chords, chord melody. So I think they kind of pair well, um, rather than throwing in oddities like sharps and, and um, like a B or something like that. But And then the uke that you recognize. But they're not, it's not meant to be played strummed like that, so. This is where the review gets a little bit odd because, okay, so I can play this as a uke, although I keep kind of catching the harp strings. That's partly a bit of practice needed on my part, but partly because that's not the way it's meant to be played. You're meant to be playing the harp strings, but the uke. Oh, volume and tone and sustain. Uh, the volume of the uke neck, it's all right. It's not the loudest instrument acoustically. I'm not going to play it with the pickup plugged in. I have plugged it in, and I always say that because it depends on what amp you're using, and you're just listening to my amp through that microphone. I have plugged it into a very good acoustic amp, and it sounds superb because it's an LR Bags Element pickup. They're just absolutely first class. Acoustically, not that loud. Um, loud enough, um, but again, I think that's missing the point because as I say, you're not going to be strumming this on a street corner certainly not unplugged anyway, uh, you are going to be um, probably performing this either close mic on an instrument mic or specifying the instrument with a pickup and using that or a blend of the two. This is for sort of very introspective, very precise work. It's not, as I say, a Johnny Cash strummer. But the sustain on that mute neck is really good. I mean, that's still going. And then you add in the sustain here. Which just goes on and on and on. Oh, yeah, that, 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 that really, that, I feel like the room's shimmering on that F. 
Whoa. So yeah, if I'm playing a strummed. See how I'm catching the harp. I'm not going to play much more of that, which I always play, because you wouldn't play that on this, would you? But you would do the finger pick. Now it's really bright on these four strings. bright on the ukulele neck but that's only half the instrument I think it needs to be because you're meant to be playing it and this is where I can't play it because you know the F chord and that's the C so there's the C note but equally what also works with the C if you know your circle of fifths would be an F and a G and a C I don't know what I'm doing, I'm <laughs> sorry, <laughs> you know, but you get the idea. In the hands of a very talented musician, someone's going to sort of race up and down this neck and just pick out the right harp notes. I love that sustain. So yeah, that brightness on the uke neck, you've got to pair in that this is a lot of depth here, a lot more range than you'd ever get from playing a regular ukulele, and that's the point of it. Not for everybody, I get that. But the right musician is going to look at this. And I, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm an expert on harp ukuleles. They exist. A new new make one. Gracie Terzian plays one professionally. Um, this, I suspect, is as good as they get. Um, <laughs> um, but, you know, I can't judge this against just a regular tenor ukulele, because it's not a regular tenor ukulele. It's something very, very special indeed. Uh, and it gets a very, very good score, because how could it not? I mean, it's just, okay, you might say, well, I don't want a harp ukulele. Well, fine, it's not for you then, is it? It's it's not for you. Um, oh, I don't, I don't really know how to review it, uh, but I'm so glad that Emerald loaned this one to me and trusted me to have a look at it and then make a klutz of myself trying to play it there. I'll stick to the ute now. <laughs> um, what I will say is this, Emerald. You can really do something special here uh, with your instruments. It's quite clear to me. This is this is just fabulous. Why not make a regular uke, a tenor uke, with no harp on it, just a regular tenor uke, warm up the tone a bit uh, with the string choice? I think they'd absolutely fly, because at this level of quality of build and finish, I just think you'd absolutely clean up on the ukulele uh, carbon fibre 
stakes. But that's not what we're reviewing. We're reviewing the harp. The Energy uh, Emerald Guitars Synergy Uke Harp Ukulele, a thing of absolute wonder. Very, very specialist instrument, of course, um, uh, but for the right person. I know somebody will be watching this video going, I'm going to get one of them, and that will probably be a professional musician type person, or somebody who's just very, very accomplished already with their playing and playing finger picking melody and wanting some more range really going on in this video this is a long one it was always going to be the synergy uke uh 3685 euros in this spec made in ireland serious money have a look on their website and go through the builder and you can work out what your options are because you can get it cheaper than this um oh my word oh my word i don't know what more to say you just let's just have a final look at it i mean <laughs> Oh, everywhere I look on this is just, that's probably the biggest ramble at the end of a review video I have ever done. Thank you so much to Emerald for sending that over. Um, a lot of fun to noodle with. I'd love to have this for months and really start to work out getting that harp neck in, in place, but I've only had it a couple of weeks, so don't shoot me. Um, thanks also to your ongoing support. Sorry for the long video. I'm back next week. Yeah, I'm back now for the next few weeks. Then I've got one week break, and I don't know what's coming next week. Something, something not like this. I don't think I'll ever review anything quite like this again. Uh, yeah, I'm here next week. Uh, hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Look after each other and yourselves, of course. And uh, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.